All right, now in the next video, what we're going to be looking at is the NCAA next ver or version of, I think it's NCAA 06. So yeah, NCAA 06 says on here. So this is another mod for NCAA football. Uh, I'm going to keep the same thing in mind. I'm trying to go through and create basically um, a version of this that I can install on say like another device like a portable device like the steam deck and so to do that what i did was i created a portable installer um, i used the installer for N nfl 2k 24 or whatever they call it the mod from rate sports i have another video where i went through that i'm going to go ahead and put a link to that in the description if you don't see it leave a comment and i'll make sure i get it added um, but basically what I did was I created a folder for NFL 2K24. And this is kind of a standalone. What I like to do is I'll delete some of the, the mods from the NFL version here. And then I'll just go ahead and create two folders that both have all the emulators set up. They already went through and have everything pretty much configured. So I don't even have to mess with it at all. Um, this was all done from an EXE installer that they had. Um, the only thing that I did a little bit different than what they recommend, they had an ISO folder here for the game. All right, so now I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the right version. Basically, um, the BIOS folder, if you didn't do that from the last one, you have to put the BIOS in here. Um, the ISO folder here has a copy of the game, and that's how I knew I was in the wrong version. So sorry for the cut there. Um, but basically, what... I did is I created a games folder because then I can put both games in here and now you're able to kind of just go through and put that um, ISO that you create. I'm not going to go through how to create that. You have to do um, create your own ISO file. So it's a little bit more complex. I'll leave the documentation up to the installation guide on their site if you need to go through this. So I'm not actually going to show this because it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm just doing the step one. I'm taking care of all of this outside. So basically, this is the part that you need to go through. They already have a YouTube video that shows it, so go ahead and just watch theirs. Um, but now, once you have that set up, now you can go back, and the only other thing that we need to make sure that we have is the textures file. I have two. One of these is for the NFL one that they set up, in my own portable folder, I'll create, I'll delete this. I'll show you whenever I put on the Steam Deck. I'm planning on making a third video to make sure everything's up and running on like a portable Steam Deck. But those are the two that you need. So now that I have both the game and the textures file in place, I just want to show you that it shows up here. They have some covers for download on their site. I didn't set, I didn't download that up in here because on the Steam Deck, I'm just going to kind of try to boot directly into the game using the shortcut I create. So now inside here, you can just double click. Um, I made the mistake of going full screen last time and it didn't load right, but or it disappeared. So I'm not going to do that this time. You'll know if you have the game set up correctly if this NCAA Next logo appears, much like the ESPN 2K24 one, the the mod is going to change the title screens. If you don't see that, then your textures folder isn't loading. Because what will happen if you don't have that textures folder is it's just going to go ahead and load the game itself. So we'll go ahead and select favorite team, save it. It'll go ahead and create this. Now there is a, sometimes there's like a, a file that they might have gave you, like a, a save file. So we're going to make sure that this has loaded correctly um, and it has like the right rosters and everything and not just the texture replacement but I don't know if I have to load that file I might have messed up there but if I messed up I'll cut this and, and redo it um, this game like I said you can change the the graphic performance and everything on here this is running at like almost 4k uh, if you you might not be able to see but in the very bottom right it has there um, that information so like we don't want to do this how do i quit this that's the hero mode or whatever race for the husband i don't know why i booted directly into that but i want to go to the main screen so that we can test 
the quick play modes before we do anything else. So let's go. What it says, I don't think any of that stuff is up to date, but you'll see how the game looks. It looks pretty great. Like I said, um, using the the Rate Sports installer, it's already set up a lot of the graphics stuff to like basically 4K. You can tweak that if you need to make it lower for your system. So like if I'm putting on the Steam Deck, I'm probably going to try to match the resolution there just to make sure that's good. Uh, the game's playing sound, so hopefully you can hear me over it. I didn't really need that. But I just want to double check and see if we've received this. The rosters are okay. Let's go ahead and see if I can uh, mute this a little bit. I don't know if that will tag our channel or whatever. But yeah, updated rosters because Blake Corum's doing the kick return. Not sure why they have him doing the returns as he's the running back. But um, who's the other one? Uh, Ronnie Bell. Yeah. So there we go. You got the up to date game, high resolution. And it looks like it's running pretty well on here. So next, we'll be taking these folders. I'm going to kind of break those out. I'll show the, the final version. And I'm going to go ahead and make the final uh, video that shows us installing it on the Steam Deck.